Now we are on to the fifth principle of testing. Principle five states, beware of the pesticide paradox. What does this mean? Let's find out. Point one, the same test no longer finds defects. During testing, if you have already found a defect in a code, then it is unlikely that you will find a defect again. Unless there is a big change in the code, you will find no more errors, since you already found one and corrected it. So then what do we do? Point two, to detect new defects, existing tests and test data may need to change. So you either have to update the test case or the data in it to be able to find new defects. And the third point is when you are performing automated regression testing, the pesticide paradox has a beneficial outcome. When you run automated testings, you are actually running scripts. So if you run the same script, it is highly unlikely that you will find new defects. But if you update your script, add new values to it or new test cases to it, then there is a possibility of discovering new defects. So, this paradox is very beneficial when you are performing an automated testing. So now we turn to an example to help us understand this better. Suppose there is a software with 20 defects in it. When you run your script the first time, you find 5 defects. Then the software is left with 15 defects. Now, if you don't change the test script and you run it for the second and third time, you will find no more defects in the software. No matter how many times you run it, you cannot find the 15 remaining defects. This is because you're running the same script. In order to find new defects, you have to update your script. So this is why our first point said that the same test will no longer find defects. And the second one said to find new defects, existing tests may need to change. So now you understand the fifth principle. Until next time, happy testing.